or 89, Dundee is at 90 degrees there, one of the warmest in the region. Uh, as we go a little bit further north, 94 there officially in Flint, Linden's at 89, and Ypsilanti at 92 as we speak, and pretty smoking hot here in the north zone. Usually you guys are the caboose on the temperatures, but not today. Look at all of those 90s from Lapeer to Romeo, Sandusky, Marlette, Melvin's at 92, uh, Deckerville, one of the cool spots, which is checking in right now at 87. Now we're going to look at the mid-level pattern. This is what we refer to in meteorology as heights. And these are not correlated exactly to temperatures, but it just sort of gives you an idea of how things are going to go. And you can see that the pattern tries to relax a little bit as we go into the fourth and fifth. I don't think that we're going to see much of a change in temperatures over the weekend because as that humidity dries out, that allows temperatures to warm a little bit more than if we see higher humidity. However, fast forward to July 11th. That is next weekend. Uh, we can finally start to see this pattern relent, and it may be enough to at least get us to the upper 80s for highs instead of the low and mid 90s. So some relief is better than none, I guess. Everything going up and over the state of Michigan. A couple thunderstorms you see up there in the UP tomorrow. We have a very slim shot. That wave is going to start moving further to the south. That in the peak of humidity tomorrow, giving us just a small chance at a stray afternoon thunderstorm. Otherwise, we're dry through the weekend. If you are headed up north, Sunday evening could see some thunderstorms there in the UP. But our best chance of widespread wet weather is not coming until Wednesday of next week. And by that point, could be 10 days plus for a lot of us without a drop of rain. 70 tonight, mainly clear skies. And again, that humidity is relatively low. So there are going to be a lot of spots that drop into the 60s, especially in the west and north zone. 92 on the high side tomorrow. And it's generally low to mid-90s all the way through Thursday of next week. The humidity really starts rolling in, guys, Monday and Tuesday of next week. So heat index readings after the 4th of July holiday.